I was just tinkering in here and getting ready to cut some steel in my pajamas of all things with this uh, Milwaukee Sawzall from yesteryear. A big heavy aluminum thing. And a lot of people are scared of uh, these big aluminum tools, but I've got a few of them. The only one that um, really gives me a twitch is this thing. It doesn't have a clutch or anything, so I call it the Widowmaker. It's, uh, I think it's 400 RPM. Home utility. Um, it's either four or six. I can't remember how many RPM. I know it's really low. Great for concrete, but you'll kill yourself. It has a this part right here that you'd screw a chunk of pipe into for a big handle or a brace. But um, back to the beast at hand. This thing was so old that when I called Milwaukee corporate, they had no idea. They didn't know. They just said, wow, that's really old. Um, it didn't have the locator pin inside here um, to hold the blade, the little hole on the blade. There was nothing to grab that because they used to use different kinds of blades, I guess. But anyway, um, I drilled a teeny, I figured out exactly what size that was, the size of the pin, the hole on the blades. And then I took a old um, appropriately sized drill bit and cut it off and used that as the, the little pin and it was, the pin was like, I accidentally did it perfectly, but it went in there. Um, I had to tap it in and I put red log tight on it and tapped that pin in and left it alone. And this thing works like a dream, man. Um, I, it didn't, somebody broke the ground off a long time ago and screwed that. So I, yesterday I stuck this on so I don't get shocked. Um, but yeah, this is a, a good tool. I had to re, I almost always have to rebuild the triggers on these old bastards though. Um, where's that saw I was just using? It's cool. Let's see here. This thing. Look at this mama. Speedmatic 75 Porter Cable. Syracuse. This thing is, it works like a freaking sewing machine, man. It runs so, so well. It's heavy. I wouldn't want to drag it around all day. But it is a, it's a nice, it's like a, uh, table saw with a handle on it <laughs> um here we go again anyhow there's my a quick tour of the old tools i just thought uh, don't be afraid to rebuild the triggers i had to do it on every one of them except this little baby one this one is a power built Um, I know there's more, but anyway, just rebuild the, uh, triggers and I've always found them to be a pain in the ass, but it is totally worth it for the end product because these things, I think I paid $3 or $8 or something for it. And it's one of my favorite tools. So what the hell? Thus ended the lesson.